Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. Uh, when I got here tonight, the sun was just setting over there and it was really kind of bad in my eyes. It's actually kind of gone down now. It's starting to run out of light, but I wanted to <clears throat> get out here and do a little bit of shooting tonight and uh, playing around with a couple of different guns and trying out some new ammo. And I did find uh, this particular ammo here. This is uh, Browning ammunition. They call it Pro 22. Uh, 22 long rifle, 40 grain round nose. It says target crimp. I don't know what that means. There's a, there's a little crimp ring around the middle of the case. I'll show you one of those in a second. Uh, it does say it's 1085 feet per second. I did shoot just one quick group with it just to uh, make sure I was actually hitting the target and so far it did okay. Uh, I didn't take my time to make sure you know I was doing my breathing and everything. I just want to make sure I was actually hitting the bullseye but so here is the uh, what the cases look like. Um, has that little weird crimp ring around the middle of the the case. I'm not sure what the purpose of that might be but We'll go ahead, so here at this shorter range, and what I found here actually is, if I go cut across, crossways across the, uh, the range here, and we've got a berm all the way around, so it's safe wherever I, angle I shoot, but uh, I'm getting exactly 35 yards to where my target is right now from, from where I'm sitting. So not quite 50 yards but it's better than having the sun glaring in my face uh, <clears throat> while I'm trying to shoot. So we'll go ahead and try it out. And if uh, these prove to be really good, then we'll try them at 50 yards another day. Um, I'm just shooting them with my good old Winchester Model 52D. I have a Redfield Model 3200 scope on top here, 24X. A little overkill for 35 yards for sure, but... It gets the job done. All right. Didn't spend a lot of time just zeroing it out. I'm more than just going for the groups than anything else, but we'll do a couple of groups here with it and see how it does. Yeah, so far so good. I like to like them to shoot one whole groups, but not all ammo can do that, I guess. Pretty small group though, not too bad. I have never seen this ammo before, so it was a little expensive, a little more expensive than I usually will spend on stuff that I haven't proven to be good, but. All right, yeah, not a terrible group. Um, so this stuff was, uh, $15 for this box of 100 so not the uh, <clears throat> not the most expensive ammo going out there but uh, definitely more expensive than uh, you know like my Elay target that I like so much I pay like seven bucks a box for that so pretty close to that seven bucks a box of 50 this is 15 for a hundred so pretty darn close but uh, that Elay, Elay target will also shoot one whole groups with this gun, so. Seems like my point of impact starting to drift down me a little bit here.
pretty consistent though. Off to the right or off to the left there. Hmm. Trying a little, diff little different uh, rest or bench rest setup here. I was trying my old pistol rest and just for whatever reason I couldn't get a comfortable setup here. that one flyer that's no good all right well other than that one i pulled off to the left i'm gonna do one more i got time here do one more. I gotta run down and make sure my, my camera is on a new bullseye though, so stand by. All right, good thing I checked that <laughs> because I had my uh, had my camera zoomed right in on those two bullseyes I was shooting at and if I had shot that another group without moving it, I would have uh, definitely not captured that uh, that group on video so let's go ahead and try one more uh, so far the groups are kind of lackluster for 35 yards they're not terrible but I definitely have shot better groups with cheaper ammo and uh, just different ammo with this gun so maybe we'll try this uh, ammo in my Remington 37 see if that can do any better Some ammo just does better than other guns, different guns. Maybe. All right. Or maybe this gun just needed a couple minutes to get seasoned, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I really believe in that whole seasoning thing of the barrel, but some people swear by it. All right, well, maybe there's something to that. <laughs> so, three shots into one hole on this group. Oop, pull that one to the left a little bit. Ah, that definitely was not me. Ah, wow, that definitely was not me either. So, I mean, they're not they're not awful groups, but boy, for for this gun, that they're not great. <laughs> so, I'll tell you. But we'll know for later. We'll try this out in a few other guns, but we'll know this one doesn't like these. <laughs> but anyway. Still a lot of fun to get out and shoot these uh, these groups for you guys. Test out this new ammo. I've never seen this stuff anywhere. I found it in a shop. I was traveling uh, a little bit away from my normal uh, area of uh, travels for work and went into another little gun shop that I hadn't been in in quite a while. And they had some of this on the shelf and I, I said, well, I'll give it a try. I've seen the browning in the bulk pack before and uh, I don't know who makes that. I don't know who makes this either. If I had to guess, it might be a, a Winchester branded uh, kind of look to it. But uh, that's just a real wild guess there. So, but anyway, 
The 52D doesn't like this ammo. Go figure. But anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.